Hello everybody and welcome back for some more Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX with more big action. Alright, so in the last part we got this flotation device here. We can now sink or swim either way, but now in this part we're going to go climb back up here and take on the next stage, Ice Cap. Okay, so I kind of did a little bit of research off screen and uh, I actually found out a much quicker easier way to catch the fish, or catch Froggy, in this case, without just, you know, because in the last part, um, we had some troubles catching Froggy, like, I always had problems with him all the time, so, but enough about that. So, what you want to do in this part is grab this rock, and Froggy's going to be exactly underneath this ice, so we're going to break the ice, that's right, break the ice, sounds like a catchy song, but no, it's not. We're just gonna go down here and see if he's in there. Of course, he'll he'll always be there. Yeah, so don't worry about it. Okay, so get back up there. All right. Uh, next up, um, and we're gonna try to see. This is the part where I edit out most of the stuff here because it kind of took me a long time to figure out how to catch him. And this is the part where I actually get down to business. So, a little tip when I found out about this. <laughs> um, there is actually a much more easier way to catch Froggy. I mean, this is just from what I've been what I've been testing out. So, once you'll you'll see once I sh uh, catch Froggy, you'll you'll soon to understand what I've what I'm explaining here. So, uh, basically, in order to in order for this to work, you um, once it starts biting on, I would just shake the joystick back and forth, and um, it actually caught him. Like it actually hit, or whatever. You'll see. You'll see soon enough. Like, <laughs> like the part where he's actually on the freaking bait. So, that's just something I found out. I don't know if it's if it works for all of you, but you know that's just the easier way of catching it, more quicker. You know, instead of going through like maybe an hour or so trying to catch him. There you go, got a hit. So that's that's the part where I just basically wiggled the joystick back and forth. <laughs> okay, so um, I show this part because I don't exactly catch him right here, but the next. Uh, next try of me catching it, you know, you know, I just like showing failures, you know, because failures are are a nuisance to me, but, you know, anyways, he's giving all he's got, you know, he's being froggy and I'm just being big, you know, that would totally make sense, you know, being able to catch him, um, because I'm twice the size of him, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I figured I might as well be stronger than him. But I guess game logic really doesn't apply much now, doesn't it? Oh well, let's try this again. So now you can see there's some different fishes. Obviously, we got like some crazy eel. We got some crazy other things. But you know, that's just some things. In some stages, there's like in in like deep enough in this stage, there's another uh, power lore. I think I'm not exactly sure. But if you guys want to know, if you guys know what that is, then just leave me a comment down the down there. So I'm. I may be interested. Um, so here we are. Uh, let's try this again now. <laughs> I think this is the actual. This is the part I actually catch him. So, so, so I apologize if you know a couple. There's only going to be like I think a few more episodes of this post commentary, and then uh, and then we'll get down to the good stuff, you know. Because uh, after big story, of course, we got Gamma, and of, after Gamma, then we get the finale, which. You all are looking forward to, I bet. <laughs> so I'll probably be finishing this LP a little bit sooner than I thought it would be, um, since I've already pretty much finished recording most of Big Story, and uh, all it needs left is just commentary. So there we go. And of course, um, we do get the fantastic dance. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty quick. I, I mean, in this point now, I can pretty much just move on to other stages, you know, instead of I'm. I was sort of thinking of doing one stage at a time, depending how um, long the each stage was. So, um, but that's pretty much what I've been thinking. Okay, so back at the entrance once more, we got to go back out, um, out of this cave, out of this dark, spooky cave. It just be, suddenly became nighttime, and uh, yeah, it's kind of creepy. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, so I think this is the part where uh, Tails comes into the point. And uh, catches Froggy by accident, and then Big goes after it. So, I'll let you guys watch the cutscene. Oh no! He's got my little 
Okay, as strange as it sounds, we've seen this cutscene before, but, you know, it's always funny to see this again. Oh well. You tried your best, Tails. <laughs> as if Tails wouldn't even bother um, giving the froggy to him, maybe. Yeah, it probably would, but, you know, it, it would have been helpful if he'd give it to us already, so we don't have to worry about going to the next stage and catching froggy. Hey, get out of my way, old man. He's like, I'm old! Okay, up the stairs we go. We gotta go back now to Station Squared and take care of some good things along the way. Because if we go back to Station Square, we gotta go back to our good old stage that we haven't quite been there for a long, long time. Actually, it's probably the uh, it's beginning stages of uh, Sonic and Tails' story. Hey, there's Sonic. Uh, I didn't mean to whack you with my stick, but you know, you you're the star of this game. Come on now. <laughs> Alright, so, a little transition cutscene, there's not much dialogue, so I might as well talk over this. Hey, looky, there's Froggy. Oh boy, what's he going? Hmm. So now he's actually going to go back into uh, the hotel here, so we got to just... Um, I don't know, like, I always thought there was something, like, over here, but, you know, there's probably nothing to do over there. Maybe there is, I don't know. Oh, wait, anyways, gotta go back into the hotel once more. Alright, so straightforward, uh, now, we have to go outside here where the swimming pool's at. And, let's see, if I can get out there, and I can swim! Yay! So, we actually haven't been through this part for a while, haven't we? Man, it's been a long time. But this is actually one of our, well, return stages. We get to play at Emerald Coast. And also, I think Gamma has this part, too. So, alrighty. So, this is pain this is mainly like half of the uh, Emerald Coast cut off. And uh, you can pretty much just uh, see how the big difference, really. <laughs> Alright, so we got more of those monkey things throwing bombs at us. It's kind of weird, like, <laughs> if you fish while you're doing this, then you see the bombs being thrown at. I, I mean, it just wouldn't make sense to me. Okay, so, uh, here it actually took me a little bit, but I finally caught him, like, first try, I think. So, I think first try, yeah, I might have... Yeah, it is first try, of course. I'm just trying to remember what happened. <laughs> okay, so, almost there. Come on, Froggy, come to Papa. Come to Big. You know, we got more fish to fry, come on. Alright, so, wish he would stop moving around here. Oh, boy, one of the things I hate the most about this part, man, is just catching froggy is just really not the greatest thing. I mean, that's pretty much all you have to do in each stage. I think I've already explained that earlier on, but, you know, what can you do about it? I guess they ran out of ideas, you know. They just had to put big in this picture now, didn't it? He's almost there. Come on. Yay. There's actually, I think, a secret in this stage. I'm not sure. Because, uh... Top, no, 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 I, heard, I don't even care what the na fairy's names is, but... Basically, she could she tells you what's in the stage, I think. And we get a new mini-game. Sonic uh, Drift Racing. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll probably show that off, maybe. I don't know. Uh oh. No, hold on there. Come back, please. Give me my friend back. I'm begging you, please.
Usagi? This place doesn't look familiar to me at all. Mm, smells like Usagi's around somewhere. Let's go see what's behind this door. Yeah, use your use your nose power there. I mean, cause that's how we totally find Froggy. You know, that's the power of our nose. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we got to go back into the hot shelter. And uh, whoa. All right. So I was thinking about stopping the video here, but you know, I wanted to keep going and uh, just finish all these stages here and then the last part we'll fight the boss of course so let's hop inside the door shall we and let's take on stage four I believe this is the last stage yes it is alright and yes again this is the part where we pretty much start like from Amy's story um, we gotta go through this part and then about halfway you will reach the pool section where you need to catch Froggy so in the door we go. Let's begin our quest to find Froggy. I always thought you can get on the other side because there's like some spring pads over there. Like there's stuff over there. But I just don't know how. Um, I, I might have passed it, but you know I don't really care at this point. I always thought Froggy was in this section, but no, he's actually not. You have to keep going forward. So that's what it kind of got me confused, like where he was at, really. So. Alright. So there's Froggy swimming along that path. We're gonna have to break open and uh just break the seal, that's what <laughs> mm Mhm. That's what we're here for. Okay, so switch on this and then of course the water will break through. And I don't think I mean uh, there might have been not much editing out of this, but I finished I finished this pretty quick also. Um, let me see if I can first find him. Uh, he was somewhere around over here. I think. Okay, maybe not. There's like a couple of sharks in here, actually, that you can... I, uh, <laughs> that you can see in here, but, you know. At this point, fishes, I don't really care about them. I just want to catch Froggy and be, be over with it. <laughs> I mean, the fishes are also kind of important, too. If I think I mentioned this uh, used to go if you re-enter the stages uh, to catch... Uh, the other fishes. I don't think he's around here. You know, I don't think. Yeah, I I bought. I didn't really bother to edit most out of the other stuff because uh, and there wasn't really much, you know, mistakes or anything like that. So I, I mean, I finished this pretty quick. Okay. Okay. So clearly, nothing's over here. Oh, there's a shark. Ah, get away from me, sharks! Get it! No! 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 That is one happy looking shark. <laughs> that, didn't, that looks pretty awkward there, <laughs> really. Uh, I don't know what Eggman was thinking about this, so he must have hired a bunch of goons to gather some happy sharks. Oh well. So right here, this is the part where we catch Froggy. Man, I'm getting good at this technique. <laughs> it's like jellyfishing. Technique! It's all in the technique! Alright, alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> I don't really notice like if he gets heavier or not because that's what it feels like every time I catch him. You know, he's like he's like really pulling at it. You know, that's just my imagination maybe, but he's he's pretty much like the same as always. Just you know, catch him and then that's it. Bada boom, bada bing. Because he always weighs like 500 grams every time you catch him, so that's pretty that's pretty weird. That I would think that I would think to see that, but you know, <laughs> it's just kind of weird. So, um, let's see what else. I don't think. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, finally we caught him. And there's gonna be another long segment cutscene. So, I think that's pretty much. We're almost getting close to the end here. And stop jumping up, up, and down, big. It's kind of a weird dance, so. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you guys watch this. Yeah! We're together again at last, huh? Huh? That's strange. 
Yeah, that was quite strange. You know what happens right there. <laughs> Where am I? Froggy? Yeah, unfortunately, Froggy's not here at the moment, so please leave a message after the beep. One thing I find curious, though, you can always come back here. Um, but really, you have to pretty much go for it there. Alright, so that is going to be it for this episode. Next time, we will take on the final boss and finish this big story. So I'll see you guys later.